Hollywood's road less traveled by country superstar Lauren Elena. She recently signed on as the newest celebrity ambassador of Diamond Resorts. The timeshare company seeing major growth and is planning for a summer IPO, we are told. Joining me right now is Diamond Resorts CEO Mike Aflasky. Mike, it's good to see you. Thanks so much for joining us. Good to be here, Mike. How's business Thanks. going? Congrats on this new ambassador. Well, thank you. We're excited to have Lauren as a part of our ambassador team. It's, uh, it's a great time to be at Diamond Resorts, and we've got a lot of exciting experiences going on. Music is a big part of it. But the timeshare business has picked up, and you're trying to appeal to a younger audience to actually get, get timeshares. We are. I mean, we've completely shifted our product design, and our R&D folks have come up with a shorter-term product that allows the millennials to engage this something that's not a perennial ownership. We also have really added experiences. What we've learned is, is that they want you know to come in, and it's not just about the real estate, but it's about the experiences that go with it. So we've got Lauren Elena, along with about 15 other ambassadors, Cole Swindell, Lee Bryce, and they put on shows at our resorts. We'll do over 3,000 special events. That this year at our resorts around North America. So what are the experiences that you're that you're uh, talking about? Well, for example, uh, we'll invite uh, potential members and owners to come in and uh, Colt Swindell will do a private concert. We'll do a hundred private concerts at our resort. So out around the pool, they'll be able to come on vacation and typically they would go in and buy a ticket in front of 15 or 20,000 people, but they get this experience with a couple hundred people in an intimate setting at our resorts. And it just uh, creates and sets the tone for a wonderful vacation. Terrific. Um, explain timeshares. Why would somebody want to do a timeshare versus just going to a hotel and having a week with their family there that way? Yeah, well, the basic economics are rent versus own. At the end of the day, you know, you can stay in a 1,200 to 1,500 square foot two-bedroom condo versus a traditional hotel room. You go rent your hotel room, and you're going to get your rental receipt back, whereas once you pay for this product, you've created a hedge against inflation, and you own it forever. So you buy it one time, pay for it, and you own it for the rest of your life. Or in the case of our new term product we talked about, the millennials can walk away from it at the end of 10 years. Wow. All right. So that's a, a a reason to do it and then you also know where you're going you got this apartment um, and will you always go in the same rental property because you own that no actually we have a points based currency that's tied to ours and so our members can go on cruises they can stay in our properties we've got four based on properties. the points exactly okay. so it really enables them to have a lot of flexibility to travel the world and do other things you know and you can go anywhere you just closed the, on the purchase of the modern Honolulu in Hawaii tell us about the company's portfolio of properties is this anywhere near the volcano that has erupted we've been talking about that story uh, and no thank Thank goodness it's not, but we are on the uh, Big Island, and we have had some issues there on the Big Island. Fortunately, we're on the other side of the island. But the Modern is a beautiful 357-room hotel that we acquired uh, right in the heart of Oahu on the ocean front, and we're going to convert it a floor at the time into a vacation ownership property. And uh, that Oahu market for us, we see as a hundred million dollar plus market. So we're very excited about that. Wow, hundred million dollar market in terms of just that area of Hawaii. Correct, Hawaii. That's amazing. Yes, Hawaii is our second largest market to Nevada, and uh, we see Hawaii having tremendous trajectory to grow. You've used technology and new data, big data, in terms of creating an atmosphere for the consumer. Tell me how you use data and, and technology. Yeah, we use big data and AI and everything we do. I come from a baseball background, so advanced analytics are something that I believe strongly in. And it's really in three areas. Number one, in the customer acquisition. Number two, in the journey to make sure that we target what our owners want to do, you know, while they're on vacation. And then the final piece, you know, is in the loyalty and hoping that we acquire a customer for life. So you want to take the company public this summer? Well, I'll say this, uh, you know, Apollo bought the business in uh, July of, uh, well, excuse me, in September of 2016. We know what the private equity model is. They're a 24 to 48 month horizon. But unfortunately, you know, I can't comment on any of our fundraising activities or our M&A per of our course. company policies. So. Right. So I, I understand that. But I mean, getting an IPO done would give you much more money to work with to expand the portfolio. Is that what you want to do right now? 
and grow this portfolio of properties? We absolutely want to continue to grow. In fact, we've been the industry leader in aggregating. We've actually acquired 10 businesses in seven short years, and we see uh, consolidation as an opportunity to continue to grow our business, and we believe that that is something that our M&A team will continue to focus on every day. Great. Mike, great to have you on the show. Maria, thanks for having me. Thanks so much. Mike Flasky, Diamond Resorts there.